Let's talk about the upper soul. Let's talk about the upper soul. So Chanel and Talia, you know what? I think I like Jada. You know, she was a little in with the whole Nicole and the pregnancy and the Eric and all that. You know, I wasn't really here for her, but I was okay with her. But I wanted her to cuss Nicole out, but she finally did that. I think I like Jada a little bit more now because she is the one that is about to crack this whole case. Even Rafe can't crack the case. And that's surprising. Well, I'm not really surprised or shocked about it. But, yeah. When you know your sister the way she know her sister. And you know it's easy to catch them in a the line. It's easy to crack the case in the code. I mean, basically she, basically she just running with this man that I think is abusing her. This lover of hers. And... Tell you if you don't wake up to see that this man is using you, manipulating you, got you doing all his dirty work, you doing stuff he should be doing. He want revenge. You don't. How this man got you risking your life and got you becoming a lens, got you becoming gay for paying all that, and you only much like women like that. This man got you doing more stuff than he doing. I mean, your light bulb should have turned on when he had you, you know, drug the, the biscuits. But I guess you're not smart enough to realize or in or I said it correctly. This man popping you upside your head. And it's obvious that he want the revenge, not you. But got you up here making keys, poisoning biscuits. Got you right here to screw on people's office and stuff. He the one that want the revenge, not you. You want a fresh start. You want to work in the bakery. You got all of that to do this. Now, I ain't going to just go ahead and go out. and You know, I'm not going to just go out and say it. But is this man abusing you? Yes or no? Because we already have seen his temper. The way you bet the way when he got loud with you. That showed, that showed me that you're scared of him. And he can convince you just like that to do something dumb. I mean, what else have this man had you doing? I mean, basically he's setting up his sister and got you doing all the dumb work. While he's sitting back in the, uh, sitting back in the room watching you and hoping and praying that you doing it. Man, you telling this man, I'm scared, I'm not gay, I don't like women, I like men, and basically this man is pipping you out at this point. And if he got you doing all this, I would hate to see what we haven't saw, you know, I hate to see what we haven't saw him done to you yet, or seen, seen him do to you yet, because at this point, okay, I can give you a pass on the biscuits, you know, the, the, well, trash in um, Paulina's office, I can give you a pass. But going gay for pay, knowing you don't like women and knowing you not like that, and you're going to get her and ready to revenge, and I don't get it. But okay, I guess you dumb enough to do it, I guess. I wouldn't do it. I mean, I have to explain to him and tell him, you want the revenge. I don't want none of that. I'm here to help you out or whatever, but slipping with a woman and playing with a woman hard and you know doing all this for you, yeah, you might as well go ahead and do it because I'm not fit to sleep with no woman for your satisfaction and get some sick revenge that you want back. Now, I just don't get it, but like I said, this man got sudden over you or this must be your first boyfriend or... Your first abuse, abusive man or I don't know what's going on with you Talia but you better get it together because you going down the road you do not want to go down and you talking about breaking her heart and all this mess and playing with the woman hard and pretending that you gay knowing you're not like that and doing this with this little sick freak over here. Whatever turns you on at this point, Talia, I mean, you really don't got no alibi like, like your sister said. I mean, a key was made, you pretended like, oh, I made a key for the apartment knowing darn well the man got you dead to rights. He 
prove that you trash Paulina's office. You can pull up any key you want out of your jacket or backpack or whatever you want to. That man saw you there. If they do a fingerprints or whatever and follow you with them cameras which they have around Salem, it's going to lead you right to Pauline's office. I mean, how much, you and you, the part that kills me the most, you're not even much a good liar at this point. I mean, get your lies together first. I mean, the man basically gave you a path to what to say and you still didn't do it right. I'm Tell y'all I'm not sick of you at this one because if you're going to do all this for the name of love and for your man and getting back at um, Chanel for, you know, hurting his, well, killing his mom and he did his dad. I mean, if you're going to be a criminal, at least do it right. I mean, go out with a bang. You is not going out with a bang at this point. Right now you look foolish and you look ridiculous right here. Running behind here. Doing all this stuff for this man. Even willing to risk your whole, you know, sexuality over a man that you so-called love and he loves you. This man is using the living hell out of you and you can't even see it. I'm just sitting back watching, see, I'm just sitting back watching, you know, seeing how big a fool you got, how big of an ass you're going make to make of yourself at this point. I mean, you already got the woman poor business shut down. Sloan basically winning because now her being shut down, the um, health inspector shut her down. So, basically, now you're pretending that you're gay. Chanel already said, let's take it slow. So, yeah, it's going to be a while before you really, I mean, get what you really want. And I mean, and the way Jada on this case, you might not, you might not, you, um, you might not, <laughs> Um, the way um, Jada crack in this case, you'll be lucky if you make it to the bed. I mean, <laughs> Jada is on your behind. Literally, she on your behind. I mean, she already figured out you didn't lie. She already figured out you ain't have an alibi. You said you was here, but you was really there. You lied about this. You didn't tell her about the key being made. It's a shame that I remember everything you lied about. And I only much got notes on it. Like, get yourself together at this point, Talia. Um, let's get to the Demeras. Nicole, like Saloni Baloney said, she ain't making a big deal of Eric and you know Nicole sleeping together. You could have came clean about sleeping with that man. Yes, EJ would have been pissed. I'm thinking from an EJ temporary standpoint that... He's more pissed that you didn't tell him about it. Um, AJ does have a temper and an attitude, so I'ma put it as and set it up as he might be pissed that you didn't tell him. He told you everything he did when he was drugged. You didn't tell him anything. You basically told him you threw away the whole color pattern of that basic black. Some mess you told him so I think he's more pissed about that and yeah he knew you was lying but he didn't know the extent of the lie and I like how Sloan low key got you back and clap back clap, clap back on your behind when you was laying in the bed with Eric calling her Sloan and Baloney with your legs up in the air under the cover so she basically got you back and didn't even much realize I think she kind of realized what she told you and the way EJ faced how he got pissed all of a sudden I think she kind of knew it but you know I don't think she wasn't paying really enough attention because if she really was paying attention she probably would have egged that on a little bit more but she was taking it as I'm cool you know they was on them biscuits they was high um you know I can't really be mad about it so I'm just gonna chill and hopefully maybe you can chill also and you know just take it as a slap on the wrist and, you know, move on with your Nicole. Go on ahead with her. You keeping her busy. I'm keeping Eric busy. So you keep her over there and I keep her over him. And Nicole, stay the hell out of Eric business. I'm about sick of you. 
I don't know why you must know what's going on in Eric Sets life or who he dating and who he not. Like the fact that you sat there and had a full blown conversation about that man and who he was dating. I only must know why Eric even entertain you at this point or tell you anything. It's just like at this point you just fishing. And then the time any chance or shot you get to see Eric, here you come with your messy behind, come up there asking that man a million million questions like you a reporter or something. I'm about sick of you asking this man about his love line, knowing that things have changed. You thought him and Salon was on, uh, was on the rocks kind of find out they're not on the rocks. They're actually dating now. So now you looking dumb and stupid but you thinking that the man was alone and he's available and I don't know what you was wishing for at that point. You got egg on your face once he told you that. And then you didn't have nothing else to say after that. Because I guess you thought it was your shot to get Eric back or whatever you was fishing for or diving for. But once that came out and once he told you that you, oh, so y'all dating. Oh, okay, cool. I'm just with, I'm just ready to see how EJ gonna react to react to um Nicole being pregnant. I was gonna tell y'all about that, but I said nah, this gonna happen soon enough. I ain't gonna spoil it. I'm gonna let y'all be in the be in the shock. The people that told me are they already knew about the people in my comments. They tell me everything. So I, when I start, I said oh. Mm, Maybe Eric finally get to get a child, you know. Yes, um, Holly is technically his, but like the Jada situation, this is actually going to be his child, you know, full DNA and all that. So, if Nicole do have the child, Eric going to be a happy man. Salone and Baloney, I don't know where that, where that leave you at, but okay, we're going to have to just wait and see where that leaves you at or how you going to handle that. Is you going to play stepmom or... If EJ gonna throw you out on your neck again, we gonna we just gonna have to wait and see where where, where that leads y'all to it after this mess. Um K, work your said, work it. That phone call didn't go through. Basically, he got your reign basically showing it up, showing it all. You basically attempted to cut the man hand off. I don't blame you. I would have done that a little bit more earlier than what you would have done. And after that phone didn't go through and you know you didn't get to get your part of the deal, I probably would have been attempting to cut his finger off and get my ring back. And what kind of keeper he's supposed to be? It's just like he had a chance to get that knife out of your hand. He could have literally fought you over the knife. He chose to give in and... I don't know where they be getting these goons from, goons from these days, but okay. I mean, if I want somebody on my team, you had a chance and ample opportunity to get that knife out of Kate hand. He chose to back down and not try. Not even much to try to force his way out of it. Okay, 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 I'll give you what you want. You want to meet my boss? Okay, fine. So Kate know who her captor is, and Kate basically know who she chopping up fish for. Kate already then spoiled to me that she already know, and she been there before, so I wouldn't be surprised if Shark is just one of her enemies, or you know, somebody... Well, I wasn't back in the days, but was in the days back then, so I'm gonna be surprised y'all probably not, so... We have to wait and see how that play out. Um, Xander, Chloe, Xander, Chloe, and Brady. At this point, Brady, go with your daughter. Leave Chloe alone at this point. Go back to your brat. Keep your brat happy. Keep him Chloe out of your life. Go ahead and get a little brat what she wants. She already did. You know you already gave her what you want all this time. So why stop now? 
You call yourself trying to stop Xander and Chloe from moving in with each other. Come puffing your chest thinking you was going to stop something. But you really didn't stop nothing. And then Chloe got tired of the, you know, the chest bumping. So she decided to jump in and say, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'll pay for rent when I'm able to pay for rent. I can't pay for rent right now. I'm living on my life savings. I don't need you here defending me and protecting me. So, and then she had that little tear for a moment. And I'm like, oh, Lord. So it looked like she moving into Xander, I mean with Xander, and it looked like Brady going to try again to puff his chest at, at Chloe to try to get her back or whatever he planned on doing. So, yeah, I'm excited to see that. Um, Alice with the whole um, apology to, Ka to Kayla and to Stephanie, that was cute. I actually enjoyed that scene. Um, he already apologized. Stephanie didn't want to believe it. I guess it was sincere enough for her to actually believe it this time. I'm just concerned and worry about what's next with those two. Basically, he apologized to Stephanie and her mother. She accepted both of them. Now she's gonna now she's gonna help him with this deal and closing this deal. So. Where does that leave Chad and where her, and leaves her playing stepmama? You know, I'm not here for the love games, but I would like to see it. I, I guess I like to see it. I, you know, I don't, I'm not here for that stuff. And you know, the battling of all women and you know, the puffing of the chances and all that. But I guess I'm here for it. I, I guess so. I guess I sit through it. Sit through it, I guess. EJ. EJ, you was dead wrong for punching Eric like that. Like Eric said, they was high. They didn't mean it. You want to be mad at somebody? Be mad at Nicole, not eat, not Eric. I mean, did you have to punch that man? I'm just surprised Eric didn't punch you back. Because I was waiting to say, oh, oh, Eric, you going to take that? Now, Eric, I know you not finna take that. I know you finna get him back. You finna show you, you know, y'all finna be rumbling outside the Brady pub. Eric decided to turn the other cheek that day, I guess, and decided to say, you know, that punch was free. Try it again. It's gonna be war. So, yeah, I didn't like that, but Eric, I understand. Like, y'all was wrong. How or not, I guess you said. I was wrong. We both was in the wrong. I take the punch with Nicole. Even though EJ is probably going to give it to Nicole 10 times more than he gave it to you. Even though that punch, you know, it was a punch. You know EJ finna do 10 times worse than her. So, and she pregnant with your baby. Oh, World War II is going to happen again. Um, other than that, um... What's the man name? Harris. I don't know why you sticking around at this point, buddy. I mean, you didn't got cussed out by um Steve. You didn't got cussed out by Chad. You didn't got cussed out by everybody in half of the Brady and uh, you know, that family. Why are you still hanging around trying to help? At this point, just disappear because they don't want your help. They don't need your help, even though they could use your help. At this point, you're just trying to clear your own guilty conscience at this point. Oh, um, you know what happened to Bo, even though it's not your fault, it's really Sean's fault. Even though it's not really his fault, he was trying to save his mom. Bo was holding a gun on her, so... You know, a lot of blame can be, thro be thrown there, but, you know, I, I just don't know why you're around at this point, sir. I mean, you just taking up space, and I mean, yeah, Chad said you could be useful. Yes, you did say him and Stephanie from, you know, Thomas Banks, and I guess you could be useful, I guess, so have to wait and see but anyways though y'all that was the episode don't forget to like share comment and subscribe i'll see y'all later enjoy the rest of y'all night and have a good weekend bye